President Biden said Monday he stands with the Cuban people in response to thousands taking to the streets of Cuba over the weekend in rare anti-government protest announcing the island's economic crisis during the pandemic, which has been exacerbated by catastrophic U.S. sanctions. This is White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. There's every indication that yesterday's protests were uh, spontaneous expressions of people who are exhausted with the Cuban government's economic mismanagement and repression. And those, these are protests inspired by the harsh reality of everyday life in Cuba, not people uh, in another country. Thousands of people also participated in counter-protests in favor of the Cuban Revolution and the Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel, who accused the U.S. of instigating the anti-government actions and urged the Biden administration to end the U.S. blockade. Que tú que me bloqueas, que tú eh, que, que, que llevas a cabo la política que viola más los derechos humanos de todo un pueblo durante más de 60 años, la recrudezcas en medio de una situación tan compleja como la pandemia y te quieras presentar como el gran salvador, levántame el bloqueo, levántame las 243 medidas y vamos a ver cómo tocamos.